Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to do Python related coding question which is generally asked in interview. These are a basic question but it is very much important from interview perspective and definitely you should be able to solve this all the question. So let's try to solve all this question one by one. Our first question is like we have to find the second largest element from a list. So they have given one list like this and what we have to do? we have to find the second largest element from list. Now what actually we will do? If we have to find the second largest element, what I will do first I will try to sort it. How actually we can sort it in a Python? If I will just write sorted and nums. If I write sorted and nums and if I will execute, what will happen? The whole list will be sorted. You can see 4, 10, 20, 45, 99. In the ascending order it got sorted. Now if you have to find out from this particular list, right, which is the second second largest 45 is the second largest right what we will do uh, from the index what is the index for the 45 to because we are starting from last right last we will start from minus 1 this this index is the minus 1 this index is the minus 2 so I will write a minus 2 here and if I will execute what will happen I will get the 45 which is the second largest element 45 is the second largest element now if I will add one more here if I will add a 66 6 now if I will execute, now let's see we should get output as a 66, you can see 66. So like this actually we can solve it. It's a very easy question, right? Now second question is like we had to reverse the integer. So they have given one number and our requirement is like we had to reverse it. Our output should be a 4, 3, 2, 1. How actually we can sol solve this? So if we had to reverse this, if we will write like this, minus 1, like this actually we sort a string, right? Now if I will execute this, what will happen? You you can see we are getting a error. Int object is not subscriptable. So this method will work only for the string, not for the integer. So in this case, what actually I can do? First, I can convert this into a string first. So I have converted this number into a string. Now, if I will try to use the same method like this, and if I will execute, what will happen? You can see this number got converted into the string, and we have reversed it also. Now, but our output should be integer, right? The whole thing what I will do, I will try to convert into an integer like this. Whole thing I will convert into the integer. And if I will execute this, you can see this number got a reverse 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the output we are getting. So like this actually we can solve. Our next question is like, it's like we have to find the missing number 1 to n. 1 to n means n natural number. So you can see 1 to 7, which particular number is missing that actually we have to find out. So that is the question. Ideally, if I am saying 1 to 7, then the number should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? But one of the number is missing into this particular list. That particular number we have to find out. That is the question. How actually we can solve this? So my approach is like, if I will do sum of n natural number like 1 to 7. If I will do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. If I will do all this then ideally what actually I should get output if I will do sum of this all the number sum of n natural from 1 to 7 ideally I should get a output 28 but one of the number is missing in this particular list right so if I will do sum of sum of list sum of nums here I am getting a output 25 ideally my number should be 28 but what actually I am getting I am getting 25 because one of the number is missing so my approach is right if if I will do a if I will do sum of this all the n natural number from 1 to n and if I will minus with the sum of nums here I will get the output what is the particular number which is missing so you can see 3 is missing you can see 3 is a missing here so this is the approach I am going to follow but this we can't write like this right 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so for this also we have one of the formula the formula is very simple n into n plus 1 divided by 2 if you will do this right this is the formula to find out the sum of the first n natural number see this we are going to use to solve this so how actually we can uh, do this so what I will do is first I will try to calculate the length n equal to the nums plus 1. Why I am doing plus 1 here? Because one of the number is missing that's why I am writing the plus 1. Now uh, I will do sum of natural number right. Sum of natural I will write and I will use the formula 
एन इंटू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू एल्यूस एन इंटू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड ऑल्सो आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग सम ऑफ नम्स दैट इज द सम ऑफ दिस नंबर सो आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग एन इंटू एन प्लस वन दिस इज दिस विल गिव द वन टू सेवन वाट इज द टोटल सम एंड दिस विल गिव द सम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लिस्ट ना इफ आई डू अ माइनस सम ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर माइनस सम ऑफ नम्स नम्स आई आई शुड गेट आउटपुट वाट इज द पर्टिकुलर नंबर विच इज मिसिंग सो यू कैन सी थ्री इज मिसिंग हियर नाउ लेट्स एड अ थ्री हियर एंड लेट्स रिमूव द सिक्स सिक्स नाउ वी शुड गेट आउटपुट एस अ सिक्स राइट now let's try to uh, execute and let's see what is the output we are getting you can see 6 is the missing so like this actually we can solve next question is like we had to reverse the word in a sentence so this is the sentence and what we had to do we had to reverse we had to reverse in the same order first python then love then i it should come so that we had to find out so how actually we can do so what i will do first i will try to split it based on the space if i write s dot split then what will happen the whole thing will got split based on the space i then love then python is coming right now if i'll try to reverse it if i'll try to reverse like this minus 1 like this if i write you can see python then love then i it is coming right now what i will do i'll try to join it so if i write dot join dot join and if i'll execute this You can see Python law i is coming, and I will just make the space also. Now if I execute, what will happen? The Python then law then i. You can see the whole, whatever the string it was there, right? It got reverse. Whatever the word, it got reverse. So first we have splitted, we have converted into a split. We have reverse it, and then we are joining with the space. So like this actually we can solve it. Now next question is like we have to find the anagram check. What is the anagram? two strings are anagram if they use the same character with same frequency but possible in a different order what is a anagram if we have a two two string this is a one string this is a second string if they use the same character so you can see l here we are using l here also we are using a l i here also we are using i here also we are using s here we are using s here also we are using t also here we are using means all the whatever the character is present here right it should be present in the here also in the second string also but their order can be a different if it is true then it is a anagram you can see in a hello right h is present here but h is not present here means it is not a anagram so that is the question and that we have to solve so how easily we can solve it so this is simple right if i'll just write sorted s1 sorted s1 Equal to the equal to the sorted S two. I am just doing a sorting of this S one, and I am just comparing with the sorted with the second. If it is equal, then this will be a true. If it is true, means this is an anagram. So you can see listen and the silent. These both are both are same, right? Uh, means the same kind of the character is present both at the same frequency, but their order is different. So this is an anagram. now if i will use first sentence as a hello the second sentence as a word now if i will execute i should get a false because this is not a anagram so like this actually we can solve the next question is like palindrome check uh, what is a palindrome a string is a palindrome if it read the same forward and backward so if you will reverse this madam right you will get the same output similarly race cars If you reverse this, right? If you reverse this particular string, you will get the same output. If you are reversing the string and if you are getting the same output, that is a palindrome. That is the question we have and that we have to solve. How actually we can solve this? So our string is. Let's take this example, race car, and we have to find out whether this is a palindrome or not. So what I will do? I'll first try to reverse it. I'll just reverse it. i am getting the race car so after that what i will do i'll just try to compare with the our original s if both are equal and if it is true means this is a palindrome 
so we should get a true you can see this is a true so how actually we can write it properly if s reverse it if this condition so i'm just writing if this condition is true then it is a palindrome otherwise it is not a palindrome if i'll execute it race score this is a palindrome if i'll just check for the hello i should get a output as a not a palindrome now next question is like we have to combine two lists this is the one list is given this is the second list and our output should be like this means we should combine these two lists how actually we can do this for combining we have one of the inbuilt jeep so what you have to write jeep and the first list name and the second list name like this and if i if you execute it uh what you will get uh if you want proper output right you have to convert into the list also a list and if you will execute what you can see you can see Ellis 85, Bob 90, Charlie 95. This is kind of the output. So if you have to combine two lists, GIF is the function you have to remember. And uh, with list, if you will use, you will get the output. So these are the basic question, but very important. So try to do a practice.